For most people, when you think about cybersecurity, the first thing you think about is someone wearing a black hoodie behind a laptop hacking into a system. But as some of you may know, that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to cybersecurity, but it's also kind of true. But there's so much more to cybersecurity than just hacking into a system that you probably don't even know about. So in this video, I'll walk you through everything you need to know about cybersecurity in a nutshell. We'll go over different career paths and roles in cybersecurity, different cybersecurity misconceptions, and also a essential skills and certifications you need to have in order to break into the industry. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben, welcome. I make videos like this one every single week, so make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and join the family. Also, if you find this video valuable and helpful in any way, please go ahead and drop me a like as it helps on my channel a lot. With that being said though guys, let's go ahead and hop in right into the video. So first off, let's start off by addressing what exactly is cybersecurity? In simple terms, cybersecurity is protecting systems, networks, and data from cyber threats. And in doing so, this requires so many different roles that play different parts in cybersecurity, including ethical hacking, network defense, incident response, risk management, and cloud security, just to name a few. And many of these roles require different types of skill sets. Not all of them involve coding like most people think. Some of them focus on analysis, management, or compliance. So with that said, let's go over some of the most common career paths that you'll find in cybersecurity. So to start off, we have an ethical hacker or a penetration tester. Penetration testers are allowed to hack into systems legally to pretty much discover any vulnerabilities before real hackers do. Their job is to pretty much identify any weaknesses or vulnerabilities and report that to the organization. Number two are security analysts or SOC analysts. When you think about cybersecurity, a SOC analyst is going to be one of the most popular roles Roles. If you've seen those movies of people sitting behind a screen, monitoring all the traffic and identifying potential threats, that's pretty much what a SOC analyst does. Their job is to utilize a tool called a SIM, a security information and event management platform, like Splunk for example. And their job is to utilize the SIM to identify any potentially malicious traffic or sort of security events. The next role is an incident response analyst. Their job is to pretty much investigate and mitigate cybersecurity attacks. They also also work in conjunction with digital forensics and security analysts for best practices and how to prevent something from happening again and pretty much learning from mistakes. The next role is cloud security engineer. These roles are in charge of managing the security posture of cloud security platforms like AWS. They're doing things like implementing firewalls, encryption, and implementing identity management systems. And last but not least, we have a governance risk and compliance analyst, also known as a GRC analyst. Their main focus is going to be on security policies, compliance, and risk management. They work with legal teams and senior leadership to ensure security compliance. This role requires strong communication skills, strong documentation skills, and auditing skills. Now, some of the most popular misconceptions that people have about cybersecurity is going to be, first of all, you need to know how to code in order to break into cybersecurity. As I said before, all of these roles that I just mentioned require different skill sets. Some might require coding, but not all of them do. Having a background in Python and Bash might be helpful, but it's definitely not a requirement. Misconception number two is that cybersecurity is all about hacking. And that's just not the case. Cybersecurity is so vast that it involves defense, compliance, risk management, security strategy, intelligence. There's so many different niches and roles in cybersecurity, and it's not all about hacking. Misconception number three is certifications mean you're guaranteed a job. Certifications definitely help get you an interview, but you also need to be able to show that you have the hands-on skills necessary to be able to be effective at your job. But on top of that, networking is also a huge piece of being able to land your first job in cybersecurity. So now that we've talked about some of these misconceptions, what are some skills that you actually need to know in order to land a job in cybersecurity? And that's where structured learning comes into play. While you can piece together information from different sources, having a clear roadmap and real world projects makes all the difference. One of the best platforms I've found for this is Zero to Mastery, which is all also today's video sponsor. ZTM Academy offers several cybersecurity courses and boot camps, with two of my favorite being the Complete Ethical Hacking Bootcamp Zero to Mastery and the Complete Cybersecurity Bootcamp Zero to Mastery. They're comprised of several engaging video lectures and most importantly, hands-on projects to actually apply your knowledge. They're completely beginner-friendly and extremely affordable. ZTM also has a large, engaged Discord community with over 400,000 students you can learn alongside with, a 
community of TAs and instructors who can help answer any question. There's also several channels within the Discord for programming languages, learning topics, and career questions. And this is what really makes ZTM stand out from all the other resources out there. Getting into tech becomes so much easier when you have this accountability and support system. One of the main benefits that ZTM Academy has to offer is their certifications and projects. You're able to work on real projects, which is key when you're trying to land a job. You have to be able to show you can apply your skills in real world situations. Plus, you'll get a certificate of completion that you can show off on your LinkedIn and your resume to help you land your first job. If you're not sure where to start, ZTM has a career path quiz that gives you a personalized roadmap to reach your goals. If you want to check out any of the resources that I mentioned earlier or the career path quiz, be sure to check out all of the links in the description box below. Thank you to Zero to Mastery for sponsoring today's video. So now let's go over some of the skills you're expected to have when starting cybersecurity. So one of the most important things you need to have is a basic foundational understanding of networking concepts, how computers communicate with each other, IP addresses, VPNs, firewalls, networking infrastructure and ports. And all these concepts are covered by the CompTIA Network Plus. So maybe you guys should consider taking that certification in order to start off your learning in cybersecurity. Another skill that's important to have is having an understanding of different operating systems. For example, Linux and also Windows security configurations. Some other technical skills that would be nice to have include things like Python scripting, bash scripting, and command line. Now let's move on to different security tools. So there's so many different tools out there and so many different companies use different tools that really do the same thing, but some of the more general ones include things like using a SIM like Splunk, maybe using tools like Wireshark or Autopsy for different threat detection or forensics roles. Burp Suite is a pretty popular one for vulnerability testing and also Metasploit for different penetration testing roles. I'm not going to go too far deep into security tools because there's so many different tools out there and so many organizations use different tools, so I won't go too deep into this. So now let's go over some soft skills you need to have in order to be successful in cybersecurity. So number one is going to be problem solving and critical thinking. You're going to find yourself in situations where you need to have some good judgments and analyze the situation, so this is really going to come in handy. You also need to be a good communicator, so this means being able to explain different technical concepts to different audiences and also be able to clear really convey your ideas and your thoughts to different audiences. It's also a really important skill just to be likable and easy to work with because you'll be collaborating with so many different teams when working in cybersecurity. So when it comes to certifications and looking to break into cybersecurity, some of the best beginner certifications that I can recommend would be the Network Plus, Security Plus, and the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. The Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate is more of a beginner one if you have no experience in technology or cybersecurity. The Security Plus pretty much goes over so many different aspects in cybersecurity. So it's gonna be a good certification to have to get that beginner level foundational understanding of different cybersecurity concepts. And the Network Plus will also benefit you because networking is a huge part of cybersecurity. So having that knowledge is gonna help you learn so many more cybersecurity concepts at a quicker pace. Some more intermediate certifications include the blue team level one for SOC analyst roles or blue team roles, the OSCP for red teaming or penetration testing roles, and also the AWS solutions architect or the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner for different cybersecurity roles or cloud security roles. And some of the best platforms to get some hands-on experience, including Zero to Mastery, are platforms like Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. Hands-on projects are one of the most impactful things you can do at the beginning of your career and throughout your career to make yourself more marketable and also get some hands-on experience and more skills. There's so many different ideas out there when it comes to projects like home labs and things of that sort. So make sure you guys do your own research and find out what kind of projects would fit for the role you're looking for. Make sure you also optimize your resume and also add your projects to your resume to show you're taking initiative on your learning and also show that you have some hands-on experience with your own personal projects. Also, when it comes to finding jobs, make sure you're continuing to network and stay active on social media like LinkedIn and Twitter and Reddit communities or Discord. You'll never know what kind of opportunities may stem from these online platforms. And last but not least, while you're applying for these jobs, make sure to stay patient and continuing to apply and don't get discouraged throughout the entire job search process. So with that said though guys, that is pretty much going to be my video on everything you need to know before starting your career in cybersecurity. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and drop me a like as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's video. If you want some more short form content and lifestyle content, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at cyberwithben. With that being said though guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.